Hey everyone, we are looking at Luke chapter 6 verses 27 through 49 this week. As we journey through Luke, we take a break next week uh, for All Souls Day, but we'll be back the week after that. But this passage is a hard one. We are in a season where everything is so polarized uh, between the election and the coronavirus and racial tension in our country. Uh, To talk about enemy love right now is both incredibly fitting and incredibly hard. Uh, So Start wanted to recognize that that this is challenging, Uh, but what Jesus is calling us to do in this passage is to respond to all of the hate and animosity and um, conflict that we see and experience all around us with love. That that is um, a huge challenge, but it's also the example that we've been given in Christ. Um, on the cross, Jesus demonstrated this. It wasn't just something he said. It's something that he shows us that he was willing to die for even those who cursed him, even those who, um, yeah, who put him there. He died to bring salvation, to show love and mercy and generosity of grace to those who were his enemies. And, and that is the example that we have to follow. And it reminds me of um, a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. I think in this moment, our world could use a lot more love and a lot more light. And Jesus is the light that shines in the darkness and isn't overcome by it. And as followers of Christ, that is the example we are called to follow. To not be doormats and you know, not have opinions about politics or you know, what's right and wrong or morality in this world, but to show radical love, sacrificial love, love that is hard, but is really about humbling ourselves, um, putting other people before ourselves, wanting the main motivation in every situation to be love, not to be right, not to win an argument, um, but to show love for that person, to demonstrate the light of Christ. So that's profoundly good news in this moment, which is hard and broken and messy. And I don't know about you, but relationships are getting tough to navigate with everything that is going on. Um, So as I look at this passage, you know, a lot of us want to say we don't have enemies, but I think we do. We have people that we so strongly disagree with that the world around us is saying that those are our enemy, that those people are other than us somehow. And and the Bible reminds us, Jesus reminds us that no, we are all made in God's image. We are all um, loved by God, made by God, created to be in relationship with God, and that everything we do needs to come through that lens, that our desire is to show um, the inherent worth and and value of of each person because that's how God sees them. So hopefully as you navigate this messy next couple weeks toward the election and everything else, um, as we get more and more tired of coronavirus, et cetera, um, that you would ask yourself again, is my motivation love? Even love for those who are hard to love even love for those who I disagree with or think are wrong or, um, yeah, that, that we want them to do or be something other than they are. Can we pray for them? Can we um, not pray that they would change, but pray for their well-being? Can we, um, you know, in our actions toward them, not, not focus on us, but focus on, on them and, and, yeah, demonstrating the light and love of Christ?